Hello, and welcome to AP Biology. I want to take a moment to introduce myself. My name is Brandon Herter, and apart from my obvious passion for biology and neurobiology, my interest in genetics and biotechnology, I do love to travel the world. I love to explore new places. I'm also quite musical, that you'll find, and I play the piano. I've sang in a few different groups. I think if you look really carefully, maybe you can see me there singing with the Charlotte Symphony. But probably one of my favorite things to do is get away into the mountains. I'm fortunate enough to be able to have a mountain cabin up close to Asheville. So when I'm not here, that's probably where you'll find me is right there on the deck enjoying the view. So I want to talk to you now a little bit about what the course will be like, what the course entails. So here at Canon, if you remember your journey, we start with freshman physics, you go to chemistry modeling, and then as junior, we have biology experience with Biorex. And you've made the very wise decision to take AP Biology as a senior. So what is AP Biology? Well, if you think about it, AP Biology is a college level course. So it's actually four college level courses. So AP Biology is the equivalent of these four courses, Bio 101, 102, 101 Lab, and 102 Lab. So if you think about what an experience might look like at the university, you'd probably be sitting in a lecture hall with three or 400 other people getting the lecture and maybe going to the lab. In AP Biology, we teach the same level of content, the same intensity, but it's a little more personal experience. I am fortunate enough to get to know the students a lot better, and we really have a lot of time to devote to labs and uh, deep learning in the class. This is the textbook. It is the quintessential biology textbook that we use in biology. It's Campbell Biology, and it's used across the nation in many uh, great universities. So one of the really strong benefits of taking this class, AP Biology, is that there is an opportunity to get AP credit or college credit if you score well on the exam. And in the past, our students in AP Biology at Canon have done very well in the course. So I just uh, Googled some information, looked on the College Board website, and I found out that uh, these schools here, which are pretty representative of a lot of where our students go, uh, at Chapel Hill, for example, if you get a three, you get four hours of college credit. That's roughly one or two classes. If you get a five, you'll get eight hours. And then this sort of, you can see in the chart, it changes. Seems to me the winner is App State here. If you get a three, which is the passing score, you get eight hours of college credit for biology. And then it's different, as you can see, at different schools. Four at Charlotte and NC State will get you eight hours, but it will take you a five at Clemson and Chapel Hill to get those eight hours of credit. So there's a lot of reward in the college credit for doing well in the class and on the exam. So you may also know that this is a flipped classroom, AP Biology, I have flipped the room. So what does that mean? That means that students watch my pre-recorded lectures at home. You'll be watching those at home taking notes like normal as if you were in the classroom, reading the textbook alongside with your notes with some guided reading notes if you choose to do that optional activity. Then after you've watched the podcast, taken the notes and read the book a bit, you come into class and ask as many questions as you can. Make sure all the questions are answered in the classroom. Then we'll quiz and do labs to really deepen our learning and understanding of these concepts. So this flipped classroom model allows us to take sort of the boring stuff, the lecture, put it at home, and then in the class with the teacher, we really get to do deep learning, get into the labs, and do some sort of activity every single day. So the outline of the course is pretty simple. We have the three trimester system, and in trimester one, we do a lot of the small biology, right? We're looking at biochem, cell biology, metabolism, energetics, cell communication, and the cell cycle. Then in trimester two, some of my favorite stuff, genetics, biotech, evolution, and then we wrap up trimester three with some information about ecology and organism form and function. And then we'll have a little bit of time to review for the exam. 
So there are so many resources available to you, the AP Biology student. And what you'll want to remember is that our top priority is to always check our PowerSchool page. This is a robust page, lots of information. We, I have grouped everything in the course by unit where you will find videos to watch, you will find all the information, PowerPoint files from our podcasts, um, and all the labs that we do right of course there on the PowerSchool page. Also don't forget you've got an e-text version of our book that can be found at Mastering Biology. That's a great resource for you to really use the book in case you don't have the physical copy with you at the time. And then I have to point out my YouTube page, The Science Herd, which has all of my recorded lectures and videos for you to watch. Make sure you subscribe so I can get those subscribers and like the videos so that I can continue to make more and have fun with our YouTube page. I really hope you enjoy the year. I hope you use these resources and I hope that you really learn a lot and are motivated to continue your biological journey in college.